Hello, my name is Om Patel. I'm UTA Racing's 2024 Accumulator Lead, and this is our submission for the pre-tech inspection video for car number 209. First up, we have our HV path. All of our bolts contain nylon patches along the threads in adherence to EV 6.4.3. They're only used in blind OEM components, such as our HVD and Enipack modules. In all other areas, we utilize nylock nuts, specifically in areas like our contactors and fuses, which will be seen later. Um, we also make use of plastic retainers that will sit on hex heads for our radlock pins that are flush against a wall to ensure that rotation is prohibited. Up next, we have our PCB that contains both GLV and Tractive System components. It's a part of the pre-charge discharge circuit as well as Tractive System active light sensing board. Um, it has a 12.7 millimeter gap in which no other components are placed besides an optocoupler, which is under that 12.7 millimeters, hence conformal coating is required, which can be seen through the UV light in the clip. We also have included a board without conformal coating as reference. Moving on to the internals of the accumulator, every in conductive surface is either covered by Kapton or Kevlar as seen here. And then we're going to move to this side where we can see our main high voltage fuse which is housed behind this cover as well as our contactors which are behind the BMS. And then we also have our only tractive system lines leaving which are for our pre-charge discharge and our main uh, high current path both of which are not always energized. And then if we move down here we can see our fusing for both our branch circuits. Moving on to our maintenance plugs, we utilize radlock connectors, which can be removed without any tools as seen here. And we additionally have all these black walls to ensure that no improper connections are allowed, such as this one, which would be feasible if this wire stiffener wasn't here, as well as this wall, as this would go up to our lid, ensuring that this would not be feasible. This wire goes like this. This one is meant to connect these two in this manner and it cannot be used to cross all the way as it is not long enough for that. Same for these. And then we have this wire which is meant to connect between these two pins right here and it is also not able to bend long enough due to the wire stiffener as seen there. This section goes right here and then our last one is this plug which goes right here. None of which are long enough to cross over or go between any two other connectors except for these two which are interchangeable but those don't matter as they connect the same pins regardless. As per rule EV 5.7, our voltage indicator is cl clearly visible when accessing either of our tractive system connectors and it is wired to always function whenever there is a uh, high voltage on the vehicle side of our contactors. Next up, we have our tractive system connectors, all of which incorporate an interlock as seen here and here. Okay, next up is the charging card. So these are our two main tractive system connections, both of which plug directly into the accumulator as seen in the prior portions of this video and hence also incorporate an interlock. And then over here, we have our tractive system measurement points. Okay, so this is the internals to our charging cart. Right here we have our main charging line, and then there's an LV connector, and then the AC input. Our main charging line has an interlock as seen in the center, which ensures that the charger will only function if everything is connected properly.